Welcome to the official going to get a new tray vlog. Hi guys, Danny Ma here. That's not what I say. We just dumped Mars off. That sounds bad. We just <laughs> delivered Mars to my parents' house in Mackay. Only because there's not a lot of dog friendly places to stay. And with this weather, I didn't want to camp. And even like caravan parks, the cabins, the dogs are going to stay outside anyway. So he's living it up on the, the property. And we're going to go stay in a nice, a nice fancy hotel. Don't crash my car. <laughs> or we wait for the tree to get fitted. But it's like an eight hour drive from Mackay to Harvey Bay, which is where the new tray is getting put on. And that's about it. It's raining. I think the whole of Queensland is raining right now. I bought the mattress and the blanket for put in the rooftop tent and it's sitting on the back and it's probably saturated. I didn't know how we're gonna dry that. <laughs> All the rains. Been driving for 30 minutes. What's your experience so far? Need some maintenance. What are you talking about? Steering components need replacing. Steering was supposed clearly. to do that. That's factory. It's for safety, so if you hit a bump you don't like shoot off That's into the bush. So the bump steer doesn't look bad. Yeah. yeah. You run over something. Can't be no bumps there if it's sloppy. You've got 30 centimetres of plate of deal with. Bye. We never fit anywhere. <laughs> But it's an exciting day today because I'm going to pick up my new tray. It's really hard to say because it's not just a new tray. It's like a, I'm going to pick up my new tray slash dog box slash removable canopy slash rooftop tent slash 12 volt power system. Like it's just so much stuff and it's all at once. This is better than Christmas. So I'm in Harvey Bay and a lot of people guessed correctly. Uh, I'm assuming they're Harvey Bay locals, which know there's not too many places around here for um, amazing tray setup. The, the place is called Dynamic Engineering. They do slide on campus as well as they do a lot of um, custom work. So obviously every part of this tray has been custom. Um, it was all made to suit what I needed, my dimensions, um, everything. It's pretty cool because you have this idea and I, I drew this whole layout for my tray about I don't know, a year, two years ago. Over that time, trying to make things work, I quoted up a lot of different prices for pre-made canopies to go on this tray, and then a lot of places wouldn't do custom canopies unless they went on their own tray. This sort of evolved from me just wanting a dog box so that Mars could hop in the back to what it is now. <laughs> it seems like a lot because it's on a 75 and I'm like completely prepared for all the, you know, the, the hate on why did I have why do I have such an expensive canopy on a five grand card? It's like, not a five grand card of me. This is like my home. But yeah, that's that's the place that's been doing the canopy. Enerdrive did the 12 volt system, which I have been sharing on my page. I've been talking to Enerdrive for, uh, I think like a year now. And we've been, we tried to work out whether we could put a 12 volt system in my existing toolboxes. Like they've been working really well to try and customize to what I needed. But at the end of the day, it was going to be better in a canopy, so I said, I'll find a canopy, I'll get something that I like. This is my 12 volt system at the moment. I have a 12 volt plug that goes to my tray. That's it. <laughs> oh, and my cigarette lighter, which doesn't always work all the time. Anyway, I'm like an hour late. I'll try and film when I can. I just don't like shoving cameras in people's face. Let's go get a new tray for old boy.
2,600 watt electric barbecue. So we've made it on a custom drop down. So it's drop down, big draw, and then we've got two panels either side here that connect onto it and flip down. And then in here we've got to cut a big pole and there's a hot water system that connects to it. So yeah. Yeah, my car has a habit of um, surprising people. We'll just run this cable through. Oh no, no, there's this in the way. I don't know why. Oh, I'm supposed to know what's to do. You're going like the opposite way. Oh, I did this. You, are you trying to say you know where you're going, but you're going the wrong way? Okay guys, Sheldon here from Dynamic Slide on Campers in Harvey Bay. Uh, we're here with uh, Instagram socialite Danny Mon. We've been working with Danny for the last few months putting together her dream setup for Old Boy, as you can see in the background here. Quite a fair bit of work's gone into it, very custom design. Uh, Danny was quite specific with what she wanted in it. Basically we've got a dog box here, we've got a jack off uh, canopy section here with uh, a full drawer. We run and use Anadrive every day of the week. They've done a very special package for Danny's build, which Remy will go through shortly. We've also got our dynamic rooftop tent up top. That'll keep uh, keep the walls at bay. And I don't know where Mars is going to go, Danny, but yeah, you like to hang in, hang in the box here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're very happy with how it's turned out. All right, guys, so if you've been following along, you would have seen that I've been planning and designing a tray setup quite a while and there are a few key features about why I chose Dynamic. One being their custom work, their ability to change things for the customer's needs and two, their unique build design. So I'll get Sheldon to run through what sets them apart because yeah, I think it's a, an amazing feature of it and it's something that you know, not a lot of people are doing. Anyone's yeah. doing it, yeah. yeah, look, the custom part is something that we thrive on. We see a market in the custom stuff. It allows us to work with the customer to come up with their and design. We can make our trays any length, style, size. With our canopies, same thing again. Uh, you have the options of outer coat or two-pack paint, whatever size, height, width, we can change the brake. And I mentioned earlier about our unique build process. I'll just bring that door down, Danny. As you can see, we do have a, a rounded corner and a rounded top here. We've got our own unique extrusion that we've had for a number of years. Very, very strong, and it's the basis of our whole canopy and build design. A lot of canopies are just a folded style, whereas Dynamic has its own top extrusion and vertical extrusion. Uh, that's basically welded together, creates the strength. Uh, we don't focus so much on our sheet size for strength, it's purely to keep the dust and water out. It's non-structural and it works very, very well. All the sheets are sick flexed on. When you're off-roading and you're getting a lot of wheel articulation, there is a lot of stresses on your tray and canopy. Having this uh, unique build design eliminates any cracking of our canopies. We're just about there. 
boys have got a little bit more work to do and then uh, we can get these guys on the road back to Townsville. Yeah, very exciting. Right, cool, good stuff. I'm very excited that Enerdrive was the go. I've um, been talking to you guys for a long time, so I'm really excited to finally have this That's unit. We've been, been back in and forth, for while, and yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. So, uh, yeah, Remy is going to run us through. We provided one of the new adventurer packs, so this is a new design for us, something we've been working on for a while. Basically what we've incorporated in these builds is a 2000 watt AC transfer inverter. So the real advantage with these guys is you've got a safety switch built into these, so if you were to plug anything in that's either got a fault in it or a short circuit, it's just going to trip your breaker, yes. which is obviously going to keep you guys safe, keep your build safe, yeah. you know, everyone's going to be okay. If you were to eventually put mains power into this, you have the ability to, to pass it through the unit as well, which is really, really good. Yeah. The monitoring system we've gone for this one is actually one of our side marine screens. Um, so you've got a main shunt as well as a quad shunt built in, so you can monitor four individual loads plus four tanks as well and a couple of voltages as well, so it gives you a lot of information. So what we've got running through this one at the moment is you've got your main shunt, your two channel 50 amp DC DC there, which obviously the 25 amp shunt, you've got to take up two channels, fridge channel, and then our lights. So lights and accessories throughout the van. So we can keep track of what we're using as we're using it, which is really good. Our home screen there is state of charge, time to flat, time and date, and you've even got barometric pressure built in there. So if you get yeah. some nasty storms and stuff coming, you'll be able to see it coming before it happens. Yeah, cool. Um, and that all comes up on the app as well. Exactly right. So yeah, your app um, on your phone, um, you can monitor everything. We've got all our fusing and everything built in as well. So if you were to pop anything or overrun a circuit, you're just going to have these guys shoot out at you and then yeah. you can just press them back into reset. So that's all built in for you. We've got two main breakers down the end there. So that's covering your system distribution as well as your load of your inverter. So if you overload your inverter, you're going to pop these guys down the back here. Yeah. Um, still nice and easy to get to. Um, and then obviously we built a 200 amp hour lithium into this build and that one's hidden down the back at the end there. So it's got a reset button on the actual lithium itself. Plus yeah. we've also put a reset button on your actual um, board itself should you need it. So yeah. if you run the system too flat, you've got to get out of jail for a card exactly. Yeah, right. Charging wise, we've got a DC to DC 50 plus unit in here. So you can get up to 50 amps from the vehicle and obviously whatever solar you've got as well. So yeah. we put a 180 uh, black solar panel on the roof on this one. Yeah. So it'll just gonna blend in with everything else in the truck, which is going to look really good. Um, and then we've also got a 40 amp mains charger. So yeah. whenever you're at home and you want to keep it charged up and you're not using it all the time, or it's yeah. parked up, not on the truck, yeah. you've got that option there as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's pretty much that box. Um, it's going to keep you out there. We can't wait to see what you do with it. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. If somebody was looking at a system similar but might not need as much as this, but yeah, yeah. if you're not yeah. looking for this. This would be the next step down. So this pack here, we're calling this one the, the Traveler. So this is basically, you're taking the 2000 watt inverter out of the system. Yeah. And we're dumbing down the um, Cy Marine a little bit, so we're taking a few of the components back. So it brings the price down to a much yeah, more yeah. affordable price point for everybody. And look, at the end of the day, not everyone's going to need this. Yeah, that's so, it, yeah. so with this particular build, we've um, included the Cy Marine screen um, and the main shunt, so it's going to give you all your battery information. You've still got your two sockets across the bottom here for all your charging applications. Four switches. Um, we've just done generic names on this particular box as a demo. If you're ordering this particular kit and you tell us what switch names you want, we can customize it for you. And then obviously all of our breakers are built in for the system itself. This particular one here, we've included the, the DC to DC charger and the AC charger. What we've done here is you've basically got your, your solar input on this cable here. And then if we were to put an inverter in this system, we've got a, a larger Anderson plug ready for the application. Probably more aimed toward the general public, you know, the guys who are going out on the weekends but don't really need everything and just wanting to get out there and do a bit more traveling. All right, so this is our the Explorer pack. So this is basically the uh, the most basic of our systems. So this is a really quite an entry level kit, which is gonna give you everything you need to get out there and really enjoy your trip. So we're still including all our four switches, all of our breakers. We've gone back to the E-Pro monitor, um, which is a little bit more basic, um, but it's still gonna give you all the battery information, and everything you need to get out there and um, enjoy your trip away. And still got your sockets down the bottom here. So what we've done on this guy here is you've got your, your DC to DC charger, the same as the other unit. Still got our extra solar input here, and then we're still pretty wide for our inverter as well. All of our fuel and everything hidden in behind the panel there so you can get to it as quickly as you need to and wire everything in so pretty much everything's pre-wired for you the only thing you need to do is bring your DC to DC standard Anderson feed into that one from your vehicle nice entry-level kit um, at a much more affordable price point it's um, awesome to see that there's not just uh, one massive unit that you guys cater to sort of all different price ranges and needs and we're trying well. to meet everyone's needs yeah. basically so obviously all those kits are um, lithium compatible they're all inverter compatible it's pretty wide it's ready to go um, yeah. you just need to basically pick and choose the components you need and um, whether this board suits you or one of the other packs suits you 
just get down to your local and a drive retailer, they'll be able to look after you. Obviously the guys at Dynamic Slide on here are going to have them all on hand, um, they're going to be able to order them in as required. We can customise all the switches and everything like that for you, but yeah, they're available, ready to go. Yeah, awesome, cool. Nice. Thanks a lot guys.